Step one, complete, tell my race. Step two, play so painfully standard that it does not matter. GL from Mr. Dark Z here. There will be no fun, and especially none for the cleaning bot. Alright. So, ZVT, where there will be no fun. So, Dark Z has decreed. Taken the 16 hatch. Go up to 18. And there we go. Everybody's rallied around. Put your spawning pool way over here so that the marines that will inevitably be dropped have something to look at. Why put your spawning pool where it can get attacked? Because I'd rather him hit my spawning pool than hit my drones, wouldn't I? If you think about it, what would you rather lose? Not to mention the other fact that the spawning pool has enough health that it'll take at least a few seconds to snipe it down. More time for me to get whatever pitiful excuse for defenses I have in place. Because it's all about protecting the drones. I'm going to go ahead and send the drone out to the third since I saw the Reaper. I'd rather not have to fool with it. Quick CC. might be worth it. Only losing one drone? I will take it. Okay. Ooh, a depot wall already. Fantastic. Where are you going? Where? Oh, good lord. I rallied them all to the third. Hmm. <laughs> he's got uh, he's got one SCV tasked with building. Oh, okay. Tactical pause. One minute while I go get out my Prima strategy guide. Quick, I have to Google, how do you beat Zerg? Hey, Alaric, edit this out. Oh, very well. Luckily, I got Terran music for this tactical pause. Let's go. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> That was not that bad, actually. Alright, let's get a couple of scouts on the map. Since there's no Reaper and no Hellions to worry about. What are you doing? Tech Lab, 3rd CC, and the Barracks has a Tech Lab too. So what does that tell me? Hmm. My opponent's crazy. Little bit. He lost the Reaper. He's not making Hellions. And uh, he's decided to just get a third command center. Okay then. 
I'll respond with a little bit of crazy of my own and get a Baneling Nest instead of a Roach Warren. If he's going mech, I'll have to change it up. I'll have to transition, but we'll cross that bridge. Cross that bridge when we get there. Eight drones, put some on the gases. Keep the injects rolling. Rolling. You know, just noticed my Zerglings don't actually have their wings. Is that because I forgot Ling Speed? Yes, it is. Great. Just great. Here I am talking about going Ling Bane with slow Zerglings at the six minute mark. Disaster. The drone count's doing pretty good. going. Let's go ahead and get the upgrades rolling. Bane speed just about done. We'll add on the Hydra Den because I know my limitations. I'm not going Muta. No fooling myself here. I'm pretty sure I got Bane speed before Ling speed, guys. <laughs> How often does that happen? Right. Got some Hydras coming. We'll get their research. Add on a macro hatch because he's getting a Fourth already? Holy moly, this guy hasn't even attacked. I'm going to just respond with my own madness. Say, so if he can take bases, I can take bases. Nothing says I'm not allowed to play. Sim City Builder, right? Depot wall, siege tanks. Why am I smelling a turtle terran here? <laughs> he, he did not see the army with the scan. Go up to Hive, get the Lurker done. It is looking like I'm going to need my Hive Tech stuff. Vipers, Lurkers, Upgrades. Let's see if we can't put on a little bit of pressure. He's still got siege tanks, but they may not all be in position. Well, okay then. Sufficiently bullied him. Holy siege tank, dude. What is this? 
I'm gonna need vipers. I am definitely gonna need vipers. This guy is legit just sitting back. He's just sitting on his own base. Okay. Well, guess I'll drone up. Just go up to 80 drones and then start having a party. Mm. No, don't press it. Don't press it. Viper time. Vipers and lurkers. Swarm forces under attack. Marines. Banelings are very good against marines. Vipers are very good against everything else. Swarm has evolved. You just take more bases, because why not? Nothing else to worry about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little too close. A little too close. Ah. We'll shift everything over and deal with this. No cloud needed. See what, guys? What I tell you, he's going for the spawning pool. <laughs> well, parasitic bomb. Ultras. Maybe. I'm going for it, guys. The Ultra Risk Cavern. I actually don't know if I'll use it or not. It's pretty good against Marine Tank, but he's not actually really leaving his base. Which presents, you know, some minor problems. Okay, blinding cloud. Uh oh, Queen's got all messed up. Don't take a fight you're not ready for. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it. Get all the upgrades and a lot more Vipers. Vipers will be a key unit in breaking this. Viper Baneling, really. Not the composition I intended on using, but here we are. Vipers are drinking. Lurkers. Let's have them just do a little bit of scouting, a little bit of intel here. This man loves his tanks and his turrets.
this might actually be a broodlord situation. My only regret is I didn't already have the spire. When dealing with a turtle, you have choices. You can viper and force your way through it, bludgeon, so to speak. Let's try it again. Wait for the vipers, though. And if this fails, or I just get tired of this, that's when you go to broodlords. Broodlords are designed to break this kind of situation. Vipers at the ready. Send everything in. I like the Viking. The Vikings is a good choice to try and deal with the Vipers, but it's not quick enough. Go up to Greater. Oh, I lost everything. That's not good. Somebody order 50 banelings. <laughs> okay, keep rotating around. So we crushed the third base on both sides, technically. Looks like he's retaking that side, though. I've got my eye on the nearby bases. Just need more gas to go up to Broodlords. Greater Spire is almost here. Alright, a couple scouting lings around just to watch the sides. You coming this way? No. Oh. Micro God. Scanned one side and went the other. Broodlords are ready. I left some as corruptors to deal with any Vikings that show themselves. But now, the difference is instead of rushing in with Blinding Cloud, use the Broods. Ghosts! Oh, wow. And that's it. That's how you do it. Alright. So, actually, wow, I'm surprised about the ghosts. That guy. He actually built ghosts. Ghosts, great counter to most things. Uh, vipers, broodlords, lurkers included, but they didn't have really any cover, any help. In fact, I think the siege tanks did damage to the ghosts more than my own broodlings did. Either way, like I was summarizing at points in that, you try the vipers first, abducts, blinding clouds, if that fails, Go up to Broodlords. There's really nothing stopping you.